When I talk to horse owners about faecal monitoring, it's quite clear that most, most horse owners don't do faecal monitoring on their horse. Why? Because most consider it too expensive. However, the reality is it's actually a minimal expense. And how does that expense compare to other things we do routinely? Well, for example, we all brush our teeth daily throughout the year to stop decay. Yet despite that, we're quite happy, most of us, to have a dental checkup once a year that costs significantly more than $100. And it's no different. For a fraction of going to the dentist, you can have the fecal sample of your horse analyzed and you can pick up parasite problems before they make your horses sick. And it'll also tell you which dewormers are working and which aren't. Because if you monitor the presence of eggs in the feces of your horse, it tells you a number of things. It tells you, do you have a parasite problem in your horse that actually warrants deworming? And if you don't, then there's no need to do the deworming in the first place. Um, and it also tells you whether the drugs you're using are controlling the parasites or they're not. And that's significant today because there's a lot of drug resistance in the parasites of horses and we can no longer assume um, that the drugs we're using are working. When you're collecting a fecal sample that you want to analyze for parasite eggs, there's a number of important facts to remember. Number one, when you're collecting it, you need to collect feces that's been very freshly passed and collect the feces on the top of the manure pile in the center, about a handful or so, and put that immediately into a Ziploc bag, squeeze out all the air, and then if possible, take that straight away to the veterinarian. Now, if that's not possible, if you need to keep it for a few hours or a few days, you need to put that Ziploc bag in which you've removed the air into the refrigerator uh, so that it stays cool, not frozen, but cool, until you take it to the veterinarian. If you happen to collect the fecal sample on one of those hot summer days, it's very important that that fecal sample does not get hot because if it does, uh, what happens is the eggs hatch in the feces and so when it's analyzed, there will be artificially low numbers of eggs in that fecal sample.